uh, thank you to our uh, interior and local government secretary, Secretary uh, Ben Hur Ablis. Please, please take your seat. Uh, the other members of the cabinet who are here present, and of course, uh, John Henri Villier, the president and CEO of the PJ Villier Group of Companies, fellow workers in government, ladies and gentlemen, and of course, our partners in the private sector. Other distinguished guests, good morning. Well, this is turning out to be a truly productive and exciting day as we witness the launch of yet another promising endeavor to support our drive to uplift the economy. Let me congratulate, of course, uh, the PJ Lwilia Group of Companies and its flagship brand, Cebuana Lwilia, as you launched the much anticipated by everyone, myself included, much anticipated Kanegosho Center. I think it uh, serves as a bit of a background as to how all of this, uh, all of this occurred. Uh, the truth of the matter is this discussion started between the ambassador to uh, uh, our ambassador to Spain, uh, Ambassador Philip Villiers, uh, when I was in Spain in 2020, where I uh, managed to contract COVID also. But nonetheless, when I was, uh, when I was with him, he, we were talking about this, and we were talking about how we can help small, because he's a, of his exposure, and his great, he had his great experience when it came to dealing with small businesses and how to assist them. And uh, it was a, a, a remarkable conversation. It went on over a few days. And at some point, he said, my, my son is actually uh, working on precisely that. And so, uh, but as I said, COVID set in. So na postpone lahat ng aming usapan for about 10, uh, 10 years, two years. But uh, we were able to finally meet each other uh, b during the campaign. It was already during the campaign. And John Henry was saying that he had plans precisely in, that, uh, in the area that uh, we were talking about with the ambassador. And so if you uh, look at it, it was really, uh, in, in terms of uh, the involvement of the government, it was a three, this has been three years in the making. And I keep... Uh, <laughs> Uh, I, I've been nagging, actually, uh, John Henry, and say, well, asana, asana. Where's, the, what's our, where's our project? Where, how do we get started? And like a good businessman, he made sure that things were in place and that there were pilots uh, of the different, different parts of the, of the plan. And now we have now, uh, he has put together this Kanegosho and has put together a concept uh, and a principle, simple actually, but it requires a good deal of organization. It requires a good deal of knowledge of what this market is and how we can do best to our MSMEs. We have now extended the definition. MSMEs is micro, small, and medium term enterprises. We have begun to include what we call nano enterprises, which are so small that they, they do not actually fall into any category of uh, electronic, uh, of, uh, of uh, uh, economic uh, activity um, because they're way below, the, way below the radar. And so these are the people that we are trying to help. And what we are trying to do here is to, is, is first having recognized that the economies of the, of the world the economies of different countries and the global economy has been fundamentally changed by the pandemic. And that is why we have to do different things now. And that's why we were trying, what the, 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 in it, the, the basic concept behind this is that we are trying to create an ecosystem for startups. And that is really what we are trying to do. We are trying to help uh, small businesses who have a good idea, they want to put up uh, uh, a, a, a uh, I don't know, garage para mag, 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 mechanic sila. 
Meron dyan, magbubukas ng beauty parlor na maliit lang. Dalawa lang, tatlong ano lang. Uh, ang, ang, ang kliyente at the time. Meron dyan, gagawa ng pagkain. Gagawa, magbe-baking. Gagawa ng, ng mamon. Gagawa ng ano. Ito naman, maliliit lang. Ngunit, kung hindi nila naunawaan kung ano ba ang kailangan gawin. Halimbawa, what would an ordinary housewife know on how to deal with the bank? How will the ordinary housewife know on how to account, how to keep books? That's why meron dito kanegosyo coach. Tinuturuan nila. And that's something that we've experienced before. And I, the, 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 the good basis that we have here in the Philippines is kakaunti lang talaga ang tamad na Pilipino. Karamihan ng Pilipino gusto magtrabaho. Kahit na binibigyan natin ng IEX, kahit binibigyan natin ng tupad, kahit binibigyan natin ng ayuda, at some point, ang Pinoy sasabihin, uh, okay, maraming salamat, nakatulong yan, pero gusto kong magtrabaho. Eh, gusto, hindi ko gusto yung, basta nag-aantay lang ako ng handout. Hindi, wala sa ugali ng Pilipino yun. And that's what we build on. And uh, this is what Kanegosyo and all the other programs that are hoping to assist our small businesses. That is what we are trying to achieve. And uh, that we need, uh, we, you, you, we need this, this uh, actually the idea began a, a few years back, a, few, a couple of decades, decades back, when uh, the Indian model of microfinancing, where they brought the idea of something like 5,000 pesos na pwede microfinance. The reason banks don't do microfinancing is because the work that is involved in giving a 10,000 peso loan is the same as the work that is involved in giving a 1 billion peso loan. So, let's go with the big bucks. Diba? May mga mat matrabaho talaga. Matrabaho talaga. That is why it is, not, it is not something that is done just purely out of business instinct. It's not something that is done that, uh, para kumita lang. This is something that is done para tumulong. And that, I think, is the difference in what we see with these programs that are helping the MSMEs. That's why we can do uh, nothing but, but applaud and continue to support all of the efforts, uh, such as uh, Canigosio, uh, all the efforts of our, well, our entrepreneurs teaching our uh, upcoming entrepreneurs on how to do business. It's the only way that we can do. It is, uh, I, I am sure you have heard the statistics ad infinitum, 99% of our businesses are MSMEs. 62, 63% of our working force are employed by MSMEs. So there is no way that if we are trying to help the economy, if we are trying to transform the economy, that we cannot, we, that we do not attend to that enormous slice of our economy. Hindi lang yung malalaking korporasyon. Marami silang maitutulong. Ngunit, may ang gobyerno ay kailangan pumasok at tumulong and to encourage such programs as Kanegosyo. And uh, I was actually quite, uh, uh, quite happy to see Joey Concepcion as one of your endorsers, which indicates that uh, despite the fact that he has been doing and will continue to do the same thing, more or less, in a different way, of course, you have your own ways to own techniques. That you see each others, not you see each other, not as competitors, but as partners, and that is the heart of what we are doing here, uh, and that that we are trying to work together. We spoke a lot. Isinisigaw natin ng kampanya na kailangan magkaisa. Yan ang aking at tinutukoy. Yung mga ganyan klaseng uh, uh, programa na ay nagtutulungan imbis na naglalabanan. Dahil ang, uh, ang makikinabang talaga dyan ay ang taong bayan, yung mga maliliit na matutulungan natin. So, magpapasalamat kami sa lahat ng mga na-involved para mabuo itong kanegosyo. Uh, of course, powered by Cebuano and Willier. <laughs> but we will, uh, uh, John Henry uh, assures me that we will have many other partners in this. And that's part of the PPP concept that we have tried to encourage in government. So, 
this is a this is a, a, a program that brings many many elements together, and uh, I I am sure that uh, if we continue to be committed to work hard and to be sensitive to the needs of the people, uh, magiging successful naman siguro ang ating ang ating mga ginagawa sa pagtulong and to create that ecosystem for the small businesses to be able to thrive and hopefully turn small businesses into larger businesses as they go down the road. So congratulations once again to uh, the Canegosio uh, program. Congratulations to Sean Henry. I know that we still have a lot of work ahead of us, but nonetheless, you can be assured that we are working together very closely down the same direction, you in the private sector and us in the government, helping one another so that we can transform this economy so as to be able to be competitive worldwide and find ourselves as a, a, a investment destination, as a thriving economy with a stable, uh, with a stable situation in our country. That is the dream, that is the aspiration. I sincerely believe that with programs like this, with all of us working together, we can achieve that. Thank you very much and good morning. Thank you very much, Mr. President.